another episode of uh, Drinks in the Boudoir. And so we're joined by Paul well, Today we are very honoured to be joined <laughs> by Paul Carroll. Uh, it's yeah. Paul and Carol. It is Paul and Carol. Paul and Carol. Hello. Paul and, Carol loves to travel. and the question, of course, on everyone's lips, is, do you really love to travel? Or was it just a catchphrase? <laughs> <laughs> um, we do. We yeah. do. <laughs> Good. And so, yeah, like, um, so what got you into sort of cruising? Well, years, years ago, 1990 to 92, I worked on a cruise ship as a nurse. Mm -hmm. My nurse is my background. Mm -hmm. And um, I always wanted to go as a passenger, but at that time, it really wasn't affordable. Yeah. Um, and it just never was an option because you just couldn't afford to do it. Yeah. Uh, and then when I met Paul, I talked to him about, Look, let's just go on a cruise. And he's yeah. like, why would I want to do that? Yeah. And it took me seven years to talk him into going on the first cruise. And I yeah. stand by my decision. <laughs> <laughs> so you just get dragged along all the time now. <laughs> so as soon cruise. as you got on there, when you said, oh my God, why haven't we done this ages ago? I'm like, hey, hello, I've been trying yeah. to get you on. Well, the, and Because the, the mad thing was, we didn't go to a show. Yeah. We, we, we sort of met some people who we'd never met before. And it was mostly about sort of like just eating and drinking. Yeah. And... We didn't even realise that there was like a theatre or anything. Well, well we you did. We but did. I didn't. Just never went anywhere. But we were, we were just, just like, we were so excited just about being yeah, on the ship. We didn't. I think what we learned is you need to have a plan of what you want yeah. to do in a day because otherwise yeah. you miss things, don't you? Mm -hmm. And we didn't have any plan. Um, no, and failing to plan is planning to it fail. It is. So um, <laughs> and now we always have a loose plan in the day what we would like to do. Yeah. It doesn't always happen, but. Um, yeah. At least then there's a specific things you want, then you don't miss because you think, oh damn, that's gone there when we could have. Yeah. Um, and we learned a valuable lesson last night, isn't it? If you want to see a show that's really popular, make sure you get in get there, there early. early. Exactly. Because yeah. we missed out. But thankfully, we've seen Rock Opera before. Yeah. We've still not made it. We've, we've still not, not, not made it. Yeah. Yeah. We've never managed to get But then, you know, there is things that come up like dinners running over and things yeah. like that. So it makes it a bit difficult. So you can't do everything. And that's why you could have booked and come back. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what was your first cruise ship then? Actually, cruise ship, not. Well, you work on maybe. Mm. Yeah, but our first go. cruise was on Navigator of the Seas, Royal mm -hmm. Caribbean, yeah. out of Barcelona. It was just a five day mm -hmm. um, cruise to. Do you know, I can't remember. Yeah, I I, we went to Monaco, didn't we? we went to, I know we went to um, Villa France. Oh, oh, oh um, okay. nice. And we had a half day to Monaco. Was that on my um, cruise? And all we could afford was an ice cream because everything was so expensive. <laughs> Um, yeah, we went into, the, we went into the casino, not not the main casino in Monte Carlo, but yeah. off to the side. And we weren't yeah. blogging and vlogging then, so mm. um, I've got the odd photo, but not a lot. I just took a picture of all the cars that were out. Yeah. What are you all excited <laughs> yeah, about? All the reasons to do it. Yeah. yeah. So, we yeah. Iron, iron up which ones you could uh, sell you know, on. look at selling on. <laughs> <laughs> I could afford, afford to sell them all, but I couldn't afford to buy any of them. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> And so, who who's the planner in uh, out of the both of you? So Me. Yeah. You're the planner. Paul's so like Paul's I, actually sometimes. I'm not going to do a fake shocked face for that one because I think <laughs> I was just like our faces are starting. Oh, was it? Paul yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. I always want to look at videos on YouTube and yeah. stuff to, to plan and, and see, mm -hmm. particularly with cabins or whatever. Mm -hmm. Paul doesn't like to see anything much because yeah. he wants it to well, be more of a surprise, don't you? Like, yeah. yeah. Sometimes I'm like that. Yeah. 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 So you like to have the sort of surprise factor, don't you? Yeah. Like we're going on beyond in, in a couple of months, and I'm just like I I have seen bits and pieces, yeah. and sometimes it's nice to see a little bit just so you know. Okay, is this going to yes. be? Exactly. Like, oh, look at the cabin tour because the cabin. I mean, yeah. I yeah, mean, you want to make I, sure you pick the right one. Don't exactly. You? Yeah. So that I don't want to be surprised like in the wrong way. So I don't want to yeah. go. Oh gosh, we picked the wrong cabin. So cabin tours, I, I'm really much. I watch and stuff like that. But ship tours, I usually like a, to yeah. leave a lot to the imagination. We we'll definitely watch all of Paul and Carol's content though. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <what I'm saying. laughs> Even so, I don't, um, I don't watch that either because I don't want you know I don't I don't really be on the cruise. <laughs> well, you don't watch your own content now. Yeah. I don't want to do that. I didn't say that. I didn't do that. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. So and I tend to. It was my sort of idea originally. I knew I wanted to retire as a nurse. Yeah. I've been working as a nurse for thirty six years. I thought I just want a change of, mm -hmm. of and it's just. Yeah. The way the world was, and the NHS and everything was just. Uh, I thought I need something different, something yeah. healthier to do. Um, and yeah. I thought, and it was just a hobby. And I thought I started watching um, vlogs and, and vlogs, and obviously Gary Bembridge, yeah. you know, the, ones, yeah. the original ones from a few years ago. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. And this, we love travelling, and yeah. 
so we started the website and it was and our youtube channel come a bit later and, and you look back on the stuff you did initially you think, I know, oh like, don't you cringe I we know. were saying that the other day like we've only been doing it a year but yeah. the amount of how much we've learned in I a year's amazing you know, so. people say hey do you start just start just do yeah. a video and you'll watch it back and you'll think oh my god that's not very really good but just get yeah. in there because actually sometimes when it's when it is off the cuff and it's raw yeah. it's a bit authentic people mm -hmm. like that they, they do they, they do they yeah. like to see people love to see you in a shot well literally yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, no, yeah no, i agree because <laughs> we've got friends that are frightened to get in front of the camera yeah. and they, they do fantastic videos yeah and, but it's like get in front because i think people it's nice to be relatable it, it is hard i mean to put yourself out there and it is yeah. it's a big step because you get the good the bad the ugly as exactly. well and you know you gotta expect yeah. that when you are yeah. hard, um, but i think that was the best thing we did was it when we started actually we're brave enough to get actually in front of the camera that's when our channel started to take off, I think, mm, yeah. um, and when yeah. we started it, doing more vlog it, styles, because okay. um, mm. we would do just mainly ship tours and cabin tours yeah. and hotel rooms. We do a lot of hotel yeah. rooms, um, and they go down well, don't they? Yeah, but yeah, um, yeah. but it wasn't really till we sat and just, you know, I think when you start just showing yourself and I mean, in real time, yeah, then. That seems to have, just works for us. It's just being relatable as well. I think that's what people really pick up on as well. And then when you've got a passion for something, people really, you know, they, yes, they, they love it. Yes, it becomes quite infectious, and, doesn't it? Yeah. I think it's like that nice moment when you look back and edit them, and you're like, I didn't even realise we said that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. a few moments like that. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, no I, I totally agree. Um, and it's just memory making, isn't it? Yeah. And I said to Paul, I just want to, there's going to come a time, hopefully we'll be cruising for many, many years, but you mm -hmm. don't know, do you? And I said, mm -hmm. there will come a time when we can't travel so much or you don't know. Yeah. And I, I said, it'd be nice if you sit at home and say, oh, let's just, let's go back to, I don't know, let's go back to the Sky Princess when we met all the lovely bloggers. Yeah. And blah, blah, blah. So um, I think that's, you know, yeah, why it's, we it's do a it. Good, um, it's a good travel I mean, diary. Do you like Traveling and, and um, like going on cruises by yourselves, or do you like to be with a group of people, or do you we like to be by ourselves? To be honest, oh, <laughs> right, right, right. I was going to say, so do we. Really. You know, we well, I think we like a combination. When we go mm. on our own, um, it's actually we have a total chill out, and yeah. we spend mm. lots of time in the cabin. Just absolutely, we sleep a lot. We watch a bit of telly. We do explore mm -hmm. the ship, mm -hmm. but it's a far. We're not out drinking really late. Yeah. Well, sometimes. Well, we the total are. antithesis of this cruise, basically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. but this has been so much fun. I've yeah. been meeting everyone and. Um, so it's really good to have that to yeah. mix it up mm, yeah mm. no absolutely so yeah um so yeah so we've we've both seen you in both dresses and skirts so my question to you is who does wear the, the dress or the skirt in the relationship <laughs> I think you know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's Paul. <laughs> <laughs> or who wears it best? No. Paul, Paul was very charming with well, the dress on Morella. Yeah. Yes. Um, Yes, if you missed that, uh, <laughs> that was a fun cruise we were with the boys as well, wasn't it? With all yeah. the electric um, sunsets. On Morella, so yeah. It was a fun cruise full stop. Yeah. It was, and it was fancy dress, so yeah, uh, we get to uh, see. Well, it was fancy dress for you, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he wears That's at quite home. normal attire. <laughs> 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 your normal like Saturday night attire. <laughs> a maid's outfit, you got him, you got him working away, so. Oh, great. So what's been your favourite cruise that you've been on? I think for me, still the um, Seeking Seek the, the Northern, Northern Lights, Lights. <laughs> um, on Morella Discovery. One, because we love the ship mm -hmm. um, and it's about 2000, we like that size ship, but also just the scenery. I mean, look, we mm. just had a fantastic oh, week yeah. in Norway, yeah. haven't we? And it's been you know spot on. But we actually went right up to Honensvag and oh. Tromso and we had four nights of the Northern Lights, which is. Wow. So, and it was just magical, and it was so cold. Yeah. And I thought, oh God, I'm gonna hate a cold cruise, but I love just wrapping up warm yeah. and sitting on deck, and it was perfect. Yeah. So the one day we went out, and we were just into the Arctic Circle, the Arctic Circle, and we had t-shirts on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and then we did a trip. We did an excursion uh, on the Lofoten Lofoten Islands, Lofoten Islands, which are just yeah. wonderful. And they took us to a beach. Oh. Beautiful. You saw you were on a beach in Thailand. It was, it was really? absolutely Amazing. stunning. Yeah. But and then you know, the storm but, um, came in. And comes to us, the moment we got our tender boat to shore, yeah. as our coach drove away, yeah. the weather had Changed. come in behind us. Yeah. Right. So the further we were going away, we were going away from the bad weather and we're going to various little places and oh this is a beach, we went to a lovely church, and look at these waterfalls, and it was amazing. And yeah. then we turned round and within about 30 seconds of turning round, it started really you heavily see, raining. It was the the wipers on the coach could hardly you could hardly keep up with the rain. We thought, oh, where's this come from? 
and the closer we got to the ship, the worse the weather got. Yeah. Mm. And we were the last tender on tender onto oh, the ship. It was a scary ride. And because they use lifeboat, they were t using the lifeboats to tender. One had just set off, and then sort of foolishly, they yeah. made us all get on the tender. Yeah. But they wouldn't let us leave until the one in front of us had not only dropped the passengers off, but yeah, they pulled lifted. it up as well. Okay. okay. So our tender's going like this, and he's even though it's tied to the to the pier. Yeah. They've got the engine going a little bit to try and make things stable, so it was a bit sort of fumey, and people are sort of worrying because you're sat on there for a long time as well. And then when we set off, you could see all the people coming out on their balconies. And I said to Carol, I said, this is going to be entertaining. She said, why is that? And I said, look at uh, everybody on the... You don't start yeah. on your balcony in that weather unless there's someone to look at. Yeah. And that someone to look at was us. Yeah, bobbing but, around. But fair play to the staff, they were brilliant, weren't they? Different yeah. people handled it in different ways. Yeah. Like, we started laughing. Because we, we were, like, nervous, but we started laughing, but there was people crying. Oh, yeah. and, then, oh, oh and it was, like, <sighs> awful. And oh, when we got God. on... The oh, this is your favourite cruise. I know. I know. I know. I know. It's not so traumatic. It's not. It's so. It's like it's still our favourite. And it's still our favourite cruise. And then the next day we did a bridge, bridge tour. tour. Right. And a Q and A with the captain. Yeah. And it was lovely. Lovely. So I'm tea and biscuits mm, and definitely. Yeah. And somebody and nothing to do with us at all. Somebody said, yeah. "What's the worst conditions?" that you've experienced when you've been on a cruise ship. Yeah. And he said, yesterday. Oh, God. <gasps> he said, I have never struggled so much to keep a cruise ship straight. He oh said, my God. I cannot imagine what it might, must have been like for the people yeah. who came in on that last tender boat. That, and we were like, yeah. that was us. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a, you say it's a forced farm, didn't it? Yeah. Oh I was like, gosh. serious, yeah. But it, it just like, came from nowhere. Yeah. But, yeah, but yeah, still, exactly. so... But you can tell how good the cruise must have been. Yes. Yeah, that's still our yeah. favourite cruise. That's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it was amazing. Where's your yeah. dream cruise that you haven't been on yet then? Where's your like bucket list? Um I my I've got lots of bucket lists, but yeah. the one that I want got to a do I, I have got a bucket list <laughs> is the is South Pacific. Yeah. I would love mm. to do um a, my dream trip would be to go from California all through South Pacific and end up in New Zealand. Mm, yeah. Um, which hopefully we're planning um, maybe 2024. Oh, excellent. Um, yeah. Are we? Nice. Yeah, we are. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't yeah. know that. Yeah, that's because you haven't organised them. That's well, why. My, yeah. job, my geography is not good enough either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I want to go from California and end up in like Spain. It'd be like. <laughs> What's yours? No, I think uh, we've got some stuff coming out which we've booked, but. I don't know what we're allowed to say, really, because you'll tell me off if I let the cat out of the bag. Well, we've got some exciting trips coming yeah. up, which we haven't let everyone know, apart yeah. from our, yeah. our patrons and our, our channel members, and I don't want to spoil that because they were the first people to yeah. know. But, so, um... But... We, we, it's a bit I'm just saying, we think, like, the Croatian coast and place like that is absolutely yeah. beautiful. Mm, yeah. Stuff that I've already done over the weekend. Like, You've I always wanted to go to New York. Yeah, so, so we've got like a transatlantic, a transatlantic yeah, 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 next yeah, year, and because awesome. Paul's never been, mm -hmm. uh, I used to go there every Saturday, which seems a bit odd, but because yeah. when I worked as a, uh, a nurse on a cruise yeah. ship, we used to do New York Bermuda, oh, so, oh, but that's okay. obviously many years ago, so I'm really excited about going back to New York, and you're really excited because you've never yeah. been on you, and he yeah. wants to have a hot dog from a cart, that's it. A hot dog? <laughs> yeah! yeah. Salmonella. Yeah. Oh, 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 very clean, very nice. Very nice. No, yeah. that's what and it's just weird little things like I want to have like I don't even like those boiled hot doggy type things, but I still want to have one. And you just know, to do say you, you've had do you want one mustard in New on York. it. Or so right, I say yeah. everything with yeah. the works. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So well, that's um, good. You told me I could only have one on the plane home just before we got on the plane home, wasn't it? What's that? The hot dog when we're in New York and. I was like, you want me to sit on a plane for eight hours? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, um, okay. Yeah. But so many amazing places in the world yeah. to visit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hopefully we'll start ticking them off. Um, it, you know, now cruising's back, which is brilliant. Yeah. And, and it's starting in Australia again, which is really good. Yeah. The mm. world seems to be settling down a bit. I, I think um, I it think, will take a little bit of a while yeah. for, for things to, to get in there, uh, yeah. like to, to settle yeah. down a bit. Because we are still, you know, there's a lot of things happening internationally, which is out of... Yeah. Hands at the moment. And, and to so book something long haul when things yeah. aren't completely open, yeah, is you know you That's want why to. Our long haul ones are still so far away. Really, yeah, yeah. We haven't, we're not straining at straining. Really, have 
you Europe really yeah. heavy for at the moment. Like yeah. we would like we really want to do an Alaska yeah. cruise and we really want to do like a Singapore uh, mm -hmm. Singapore mm -hmm. cruise for like two weeks or something and yeah. it's like I'm not quite ready to book it yeah. and pay yeah. the money for the flights and everything. Yeah. Until, until, yeah, until yeah. I'm yeah. pretty much hundred percent certain like yeah they, they can always change things on the route because that happens. But yes. mm -hmm. I don't want to have yeah. a no yeah. I agree. Yeah, yeah. Have to yeah, we're still quite tentative, aren't we? Yeah. And planning sort of the next sort of three, four years. So yeah, it's yeah. exciting. Great. So um, do you want to plug your channel while we're here? Well, we're Paul and Carol Loves Travel. Um, we've got the YouTube channel. We you can find us on Instagram, Facebook. Is this, oh, is he pointing to pieces? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to. He's point. trying to remind me that then I have to put in your link. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, so, then it's yeah. there, everyone. So, yeah, yeah. So we're on Facebook, <laughs> I'll Instagram, think it's and Twitter. <laughs> Yeah. Um, as um, Paul and Carol just travel or just Paul and Carol. Um, and, and your website? Oh yes, we've got a website. Yeah. Um, Paul and Carol love to travel dot com, Excellent. where we um, obviously do obviously share our videos, but also do comprehensive posts of cruising yeah. and other types of travel too. So we've got uh, all sorts on there, haven't we? We are from motorhomes to. Well, yes, we've got cruising. our motorhome. Yeah, so we've got some cap campsite reviews, hotel reviews, <laughs> drink uh, packages. Yeah, so well, lots of information there. Website for drinks yeah. packages, especially. Yeah, we go to your website all the time for drinks packages. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah, and yes. believe it or not, that's the one place where my skills excel. Because Carol would say, right, sit he down does actually. and try and pull that out. And I'm happy to do that. Yeah, yeah. he's so, very helpful so, with the website. So I'm, yeah, I'm the driving force behind the website. <laughs> <laughs> the OG coordinator. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great. So if you haven't subscribed already, just head on over and, and subscribe. And if you're not a patron, be a patron. Yeah, be a patron as well. Mm, Excellent. Get get all the new latest releases. So, mm. Yeah. And then to finish, can we have your famous catchphrase? Right, right then. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot for joining us. <laughs> Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, like, comment, and share.